guys, how are you all? This is Constancia from Vermont. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Here I am wanted to make a little video about uh, people that um, teach Spanish and with all the situations that we're having these days with Trump and all the, um, the ridiculous things that, for example, I remember I used to teach at CBU, right? And one day I had like a 20 people in my class and I said to them, well, I wanted to know um, why you guys want to take Spanish. Like, would you share with me why you want to take Spanish? So we go around the room. Everybody goes, you know, and says, I want to take Spanish because my, my kid is marrying somebody from Peru. I want to take Spanish because um, I love to tango in Argentina. Uh, I love to take Spanish because... I have friends in they're moving to Panama and we are thinking about uh, visiting them. So I would like to, you know, uh, I took Spanish like th these people were a little older than me then and they were like, oh, I took Spanish in high school, but I would like to, you know, go back to that. Um, yeah, I'm killing my flies because the door gets open, the door, the dog le learned to open the door, so she leaves the door open. Anyway, long story short, and then I get to this guy, and I was like, okay, I want to know why you want to take Spanish, and he said, I want to take Spanish because I need to learn the language of these people that are taking our country. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Well, thanks. Um, next. I could not believe it. Anyway, but I was like, no big deal, right? Anyway, um... People have different reasons. And I just say thank you and moved on to the class. But I wanted to share this particular song that I taught. Uh, it's about the desaparecidos and all the, uh, all the, the amazing people that cross illegally or not. Um, and actually, sometimes I, when people give me a hard time about that, actually, I was, I was lucky enough. I took a plane. I came from Argentina. I'd been in US before I came to work in the US and I loved it. And, but actually I, I will say that, yes, we do need more people, more hard workers. And Latinos usually are pretty hard workers, the ones that work with me at least. So this is the song that I recommend. It's called from, it's from Manu Chao and it's called El Desaparecido. And it's really a very fun tune to watch, to, to play. Doesn't have bad or any you know, language. So here we go. And if you want the lyrics, PM me here and I can send you the lyrics in Spanish and English. And this is a good thing I used to do. I used to get the song, print it out, and then I used to erase a couple, a couple words. So the song says, me llama Anel, and you make a line there and they have to complete, desaparecido. Me llama Anel, desaparecido. Porque cuando vengo llamé, and you, you erase the words, and you play it three to four times. And some kids will get it on the first time, some kids will not get it at all, and some kids will get it the second or the third time. And then, as soon as they have all the words, you go through the words, and then you play it again, and you all sing it together. That's what I was, uh, used to do when I taught for 10 years in Vermont in my 20s and 30s. And actually, you know, it was funny because in the beginning of the year, many seniors said, I'm not, I don't like singing. I don't like singing, no, no, no I'm not gonna sing. And then we did this song, it's called, in English it's John Jacob, da 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 da. So well, I did it, they do it in French, so I did it in, in Spanish. So in Espanol was, yo soy, a ver, let me, give me a minute. Let's see if I... Juan Paco Pedro de la Mar es mi nombre, sí. Y cuando yo me voy, me dicen lo que soy. Juan Paco Pedro de la Mar. La, 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 la. So the guy, this guy said in the beginning of the year, he doesn't like singing and he's not going to sing for Spanish, even if I was J-Lo or Shakira. Anyway... Too bad I don't have the video anymore of the guy blasting Juan Paco Pedro de la Mar. And you know, people, they don't even know what they like until they do it and they love it. 
So anytime I teach a song, then I will play that song when, you know, when people are coming in, blah, 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 blah. And the funny thing is by the third far time that we play that song, everybody will know the lyrics. So they will be singing in the target language. So is that fantastic or what? And it's for a song and you give a message and Manu Chao is amazing. So anyway, if you have any questions about this, reach out to me, happy to help. I love teaching. Now I do, I go to schools and I teach a salsa and merengue and Zumba program. So if you wanna bring some spice to maybe February, <coughs> March, when you don't know what else to come up with, here is where I come and I shake my colita and I dance with 300 kids and here we go. Oh, I don't like dancing. No, I don't dance. I say, okay, you know what? I'm, I get it. You don't wanna dance? Great. Go sit on the bleachers, you and your awesome buddies, go. And then I'm gonna give you um, a package about where the salsa from, where's the merengue from, what, how Zumba started. And you guys have to listen now and you have to complete all that package, sounds good? And then the second song I put, it's Timber, right? And they were like running to the dance floor <laughs> because the teacher brought the package to complete. So they were like, no, 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 no. I, I love timber. No, you told me you didn't like to dance, so go sit down. But no, no, they did dance. Anyway, thank you so much. Share your experience. That's how we learn, right? Pass it on. Put people up. Bring it up. How do you say? Put it up. No. There's another word. Anyway, I don't remember, but if you like something, say it. If you like somebody's teaching style, say it. If you don't like it, say it, but in a very good way so the person can learn. Thank you. Adios.